You know who I wanted to have a conversation about today? The Montreal Canadiens GM can't use. Because with this move that was accomplished just a while ago, I feel like now in 2023, Kent Hughes has the right to go out there and stick the middle finger to everybody else and say, ha, huh, you're wrong. Let's talk today about Montreal Canadiens forward Sean Monaghan and how everybody, everybody who is a fan of the NHL, fan of different teams, whatever, everybody is getting proven wrong here. Because Sean Monaghan, all things considered, has been a really good addition to the Montreal Canadiens. He's a very solid offensive contributor who finds himself in the right places at the right time on the power play. He knows his role. He knows his position in the middle. When it's even strength time, he knows how to make plays. He knows how to make passes. Sean Monaghan was a really good player as a Calgary Flame. There's a reason he was taken so high up in the 2013 draft sixth overall. But of course, that was literally a decade ago. And after Monaghan displayed his prime years in the NHL as a point-per-game player in 2018-19, 82 points in 78 games played, his downfall quickly became evident when he would consistently get hurt and never fully come back. This was a problem for Sean Monaghan, and it wasn't one that was really within his control or anybody's control, to be honest. We've documented the downfall, the unfortunate, tragic decline of Sean Monaghan before on this YouTube channel. But it got so bad to the point that even though he was technically a member of the Flames when they started to win games again and force playoff rounds, Monaghan just wasn't really a contributor in those segments. He didn't even play with the Flames when they made it to the second round in 2022. He was a healthy scratch at the time. And when Sean Monaghan was eventually traded to the Montreal Canadiens in 2022's offseason, you saw a lot of fans take pity. Oh, look at this. Sean Monaghan is a declining superstar. He was so good, now he's not. Now, the Calgary Flames paid a first-round pick to Montreal to get him. They didn't get a first-round pick back, they sent one away. Calgary was like, here, take this guy. And because you're doing us such a favor, Montreal, by taking him in his contract, which was pretty beefy at the time, $6.375 million AAV, because you are doing us a solid, we are going to pay you capital to take Sean Monaghan off of our hands. The Habs accepted. Rebuilding team, it's whatever. They've got young guys. Monaghan's an older player. He could help out the young guys in their development, and they get a pick, so what's not to like? Sean Monaghan plays with the Montreal Canadiens. He amasses 17 points in 25 games played, gets injured for the remainder of the season, and then he gets re-signed to a cheap $1.985 million deal. This goes on till the end of the season, and so far, it looks like it has provided tremendous value. You see, Montreal Canadiens fans realized that he was good. They were like, yeah, he played really well when he was in the lineup. They gave him opportunities. This is not the same consistently injured guy that was healthy scratched towards the end of his Calgary Flames tenure. This was a guy who had new motivation to go out there and succeed. He was in more of a leadership role in Montreal versus when he was with Calgary. And now, I mean, there's no reason not to re-sign this guy. Especially if he's good in 23-24, the Canadians can flip him at the deadline for more assets. So, this would be the ultimate win-win. Monaghan goes to a contender at the trade deadline, the Canadians get even more young prospects or picks, and the team that Monaghan goes to gets a legitimately good talent. What's there not to like? The thing is, though, in 2023-2024, this guy, Sean Monaghan, has been so good, he has fit in so well with this Montreal Canadiens team, and he has been so productive, that all of a sudden, those who are looking at Sean Monaghan with pity in their eyes back in 2022 are now looking like the biggest fools on the planet. Because Sean Monaghan in 23-24, so far, in the seven-game sample he has, has three goals and three assists for six total points. He is on pace for a 70-point year, on pace for 35 goals and 35 assists, but okay, point paces are just point paces. Those aren't the biggest deals in the world, right? What's the deal here? Well, when you talk about the Calgary Flames, the team that Monaghan came from, this is the big deal. Salim Valji tweeted this out yesterday. I'm not too sure if most of y'all are familiar with him, but he does do TSN stuff in Calgary, so he is a reporter in that area. He tweeted this out. Mind-blowing stat of the day. Sean Monaghan has more points this season than Jonathan Huberto and Nazem Kadri 
combined. Combined! Take a look at the Calgary Flames. We had talked about this yesterday. We made the Heritage Classic is going to be a disaster video and talked about the players on that team, talked about the lack of scoring, the declines, how guys like Nazem Kadri, for example, only have one point on the season, how you have Jonathan Huberto going out here at a 40-point pace. Kadri and Huberto, if you add these two players' point production together, they're at a total of five points. Monaghan has six. And he's done this in one fewer game played as well. Monaghan has seven, and Huberto and Kadri pairing are at eight. So, the fact is... Montreal has a guy in their system that just last offseason was an extra throw-in of a move. A guy whom the Flames paid money to get rid of. They sign Nazem Kadri. They bring him in to be that center replacement. Okay, they've got a good plan. You lose out on Kachuk, get Huberto instead. You lose out on Gaudreau. Well, trade Monaghan away, get some extra dollars, and sign Nazem Kadri. This was supposed to be the move, but a year later... It's absolutely not. Sean Monaghan is a good player once again, and this is sticking it to the man right here. Kent Hughes is looking like a genius in isolation if you look at this move. Not only is Monaghan actually a good player, but he fits so well with this Montreal Canadiens lineup that you couldn't even really guess that this is a guy that didn't really have too much of a role the past few years in the NHL. He's playing on a line of grandpas compared to the ages of Caulfield and Suzuki, Newhook and Slavkovsky, everybody else who's young on the Canadiens. That third line of Tanner Pearson, Sean Monaghan, and Gallagher, they have some veteran experience already, and they've been looking really strong in this early season. And for Sean Monaghan to be the center, the guy who is putting Tanner Pearson in a really good spot to succeed. The guy who's allowing Brendan Gallagher to play his best hockey. Sure, we know Galley has not had the best longevity in his career because his decline has come a little bit steeper than others around the NHL, but Monaghan's giving him a chance to play some hockey that works. And that is invaluable. Not to mention the first-line power play unit, wherein Monaghan is on that bumper spot. There are certain positions where Monaghan is in the middle. He's getting the tip-in goals. He's getting the rebounds. He's playing very solid hockey. When he was back in his heyday as a prime 82-point Calgary Flames guy, he was a dual-threat offensive weapon. Playmaker, scorer, he could do it all. And he could win face-offs. But it's been multiple years since we have seen that until now. So for Montreal Canadiens fans, I want you to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you feel about Sean Monaghan? How do you feel about the way he has progressed from last year until this year? How do you feel about the way that he played when he was initially acquired before getting injured in last season's worth of play? Is his play in 23-24 living up to your expectations, because I know a lot of y'all from last year were saying, hey, he was really good in that small sample. We have no reason to not keep him around. If we can sign him for cheap, trade him at the deadline next year, then that is the perfect win-win-win scenario, right? But now, I feel like he's playing a lot better than even I had hoped for. I was already saying, yeah, he's good and he's probably going to be better, but I didn't expect a 70-point pace in the opening few weeks of the season. I certainly didn't expect this to be shoving it to the man and be more productive than both Huberto and Kadri in Calgary at the same time. We have the Heritage Classic coming out later this weekend, and... You know, we already talked about the Battle of Alberta, or the Battle of Alberta, excuse me, because both the Oilers and the Flames have been hot garbage this season... But Calgary fans, if y'all are in here, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I know some of y'all might not like me. This happens all the time. But what are your thoughts on Sean Monaghan? What are your thoughts on the way this guy has performed ever since getting traded from your team? And how do you think the optics are when you say that he is outproducing both Huberto and Kadri together in this season's worth of play? How disappointed are you in your own guys? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Sean Monaghan and how Kent Hughes is proving everybody wrong. I hope you enjoyed this British Rolls 99. And bye.